Loses the handle. And the ball to the shoreman. Yeah, a little bit too much dribbling there by Carlton Williams. He's careless with the ball. Again, these are things that you don't want to make habit of. You want to be able to bring the ball right up the floor, get into the offense. I think we're going to have to weigh these uh, Shoreman players to check for dehydration after this game. I mean, this is just horrible on these guys. They're up and down the court and up and down the court. Only one player to be able to sub in and out. Yeah, with six minutes to go, uh, they're going to have to get a second win. They're down by 34 points right now, and Cook misses the three. The follow-up, and the second follow-up, and the third follow-up, and Gray with the rebound. Gray loses the handle, out of bounds. Cooper tried to save it, couldn't save it. Second and third and fourth shots, and uh, again, that just wears the team down. It's easy to say here, Sean, that the score would be different if uh, the Shoreman had brought more players, but fortunately for the Hawks, they didn't bring more players, so they only have the six guys, and they're going to have to be happy with a three. Actually, uh, it's a two. Foot yeah. on the line, maybe, or inside line. the line. That's a two, yep. Brings the score to 67 Hawks, 35 Shoreman. Now, that actually doesn't mean 35 Shoreman. There are only six Shoreman, but they have 35 points. <laughs> and a steal. Shoeless up with the shot. And the layup. He's going to single-handedly try and bring them back into this game, Sean. Well, you know, at this point, it's, 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 it's over for the Shoreman. But I tell you what, they can work on the fundamentals. Getting to the basket, handling the ball, trying to limit the turnovers in these last six minutes. Over? Nothing is over until we decide it is. <laughs> no, I do have to agree with you. I mean, the Shoreman are hustling, but it might be a little too late here. Oh. And travel, travel, travel. That's... uh two or three straight turnovers uh, for the Hawks. Again, a little careless, a little individual effort here. They need to stick with the team effort, handle the ball correctly. Now Coach Hoyt switch, switches it up. Actually brings out Cooper and Cook and brings in Gray and Richardson. Mike Richardson in. Williams with the pass. Back with the ball to Williams. Looking for Gray on the right-hand side. Oh, with a nice move at the top of the key. Gives the ball up to the catalyst, Brandon Dukes. Almost loses the dribble there. Oh. And a travel again. Uh, again, a little careless. That's four straight turnovers by the Hawks. Careless ball handling. And uh, dribbling where they can throw a pass. If you can throw a pass to that man, no need to dribble over to him. Do you think that the dribbling is a um, point of trying to take some time off the clock there, Sean? Well, you know, I, I think that you, if you want to take the time off the, p the clock, you want to do passes. Passes can get there a lot. You can throw the ball to a man a lot faster you can dribble to him. Well, yeah, that was my point, Sean. Maybe they're trying to dribble the ball to actually take time off the clock, you know, milk the clock a little bit. And a shot with a three-pointer. Rebound to the Hawks. Out to Williams. Williams all alone with the layup and no. Michael Richardson, I believe, with his first points of the night. I think that was Andre Datcher with the basket. Andre Datcher's in the game. We have an Andre Datcher sighting. He looks definitely like the freshest, cleanest uniform out on the court, wouldn't you say, Sean? <laughs> Just joined the team, as I understand it, today, and uh, he's out there getting some action. And he actually gets a hold. Starts off his first action with a hold. The Shoreman with the ball. Shooting one and one. Maybe they can convince the Hawks to shoot with their eyes closed for the rest of the game and get back into this. But other than that, or barring an existential collapse by the Hawks, I don't see any way that the Shoreman can get into the game. Gray with the ball, loses the handle, still managed to get the shot up. Dickerson with the follow. Great now, hook back. Again, it's hard to lose if you get six and seven shots at the basket in one try. Dickerson with the rebound. Out to Byron Morgan. Byron Morgan looking, looking, looking. Kicks it out. Set shot to the catalyst. Oh, misses. But Gray with the rebound. Gray inside on the baseline. Puts it back up again. Dickerson with the rebound. 
And one for two. Here you go. Three shots at the basket. You, you can't lose if you get three shots every time. Now, I don't mean to scare anybody, but if the Hawks... Three passes for a layup. Another rebound by the Hawks. Bring the ball up the court. One pass. And a layup. A layup. A layup by the catalyst, Brandon Dukes. I tell you what, the Hawks are making this look very easy. Uh, and they've extended this lead to 36 points. And it's simply just effort. You, you can't give up second and third and fourth shots. Uh, I would be having box out drills with my team for the rest of the week. <laughs> Well, with another three-pointer, actually, haven't the Hawks doubled the output of the Shoreman tonight? All but, all but have doubled I mean, doubled they're three it. points away from doubling the whole entire output of the Shoreman. Well, maybe that's because they have twice as many players. <laughs> and the catalyst, Brandon Dukes, actually takes a seat on the bench. Going to go with uh, Gray, Dickerson, Cooper... Byron Morgan and Andre Detcher. Pay attention to Andre Detcher here, Sean. See how he gels with the defense. Takes his man, keeps his man on the outside, makes him force a pass. On the inside, Dickerson's got him covered. Up for the shot, right over Dickerson with the shot. minute and a half, just about a minute and a half to go in the game. Uh, again, the Hawks are just trying to close this one out. It seems as if they have little problem with that, Sean. I mean, being up 75 to 41. 77 to 41 now with the shot. That was a great drop step by my uh, Mike, or Mike Dickerson. Drop step, turn around, easy shot. And a miss for the rebound by Gray. Hawks have the ball. Out to Byron Morgan. Byron Morgan brings the ball over half court line. And they get into the Datcher. Datcher shoots in and out. Dickerson with the rebound and the putback. Another second shot. I, I just don't understand. I, I guess they've given up, and, and, and I guess at some point you have to if you're down by 38 points. But, uh, again, the effort here, uh, uh, boxing out, just super important. These are fundamentals that should be with you even when you're getting beat by 38 points. 55 seconds left in the game. And the foul stops the clock. Basket and a foul. The foul on Gray, blocking foul. Cook gets back in the game. Sean, you got to be happy to see that. More time, more time, more time. Well, Cook's played a good game. You know, he's very nervous out there in the first half, and uh, it was good to see him hit a few three-pointers and uh, get himself back in the game. Got to hustle a little more in defense, need a few more rebounds, but uh, he's coming along. Makes a free throw. Ball inbounded by Cook. Cook played last year with Progressive Christian Academy. Uh, played against some of the top talent in the country, actually, playing against uh, uh, teams from Virginia and all over the country. Now there is a difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Now it's about a second or so. It doesn't look like the Shoreman will take the entire time. They're going to set up here, maybe try and get a last shot, maybe try and get an open look. Open look from the top of the key. A miss. Shoeless goes for the ball, ball to the Hawks. The Hawks could just pass the ball around here and retire with a 79-43 lead. And a win! This win will actually bring the Hawks to 2-1. 2-3? 2-3, uh, but it'll be 2-0 oh in their home court, and that's important. That's it with the outlet pass. Gray with the shot, the miss, rebound, Shorman. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. And that's in the books. That's in the books, ladies and gentlemen. It's Hawk 79, Shorman 43. A great game by both teams. The players shake hands and say goodbye. We're going to send you to a commercial and then come back with our post game. Recapping the Hawks 79, the guests, Shoreman 43. For my co host, Sean Cook, I'm Josh Harris here on the CSM Hawks Television Network. 
60 inch screen, high definition. Football season is coming up. You can watch it right here. What do you think? I'll huh? take it. Huh? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You're right. I don't need it. Maimed. Why do demons and ghouls hang out together? Because demons are a ghoul's best friend! <laughs> of places you might find sexual predators. Add this one. Last year, one in five children was sexually solicited online. To learn what you can do to protect your kids' online life, visit cybertipline.com. Help delete online predators. And welcome back to CSM Hawks Basketball on Channel 98. We're actually here on our post game with Coach Hoyt. Coach Hoyt, you got to be happy about this win. Yeah, a W is always good, no matter how it comes, uh, as long as they didn't day the W. Um, there's still a lot of things we need to work on, but there's plenty of time left in the season. And what do you think was the biggest uh, catalyst to the win? I mean, who do you think you know was out there you know, getting it for you? Uh, Brandon Dukes did a hell of a job on the offensive glass. Uh, it's amazing. I can't imagine how many he got. It was at least 10. And uh, he's been like that for us all year with his intensity and his just ability just to work hard. Coach, one of the things that, that I saw and we talked about before the game was how, you know, your team's quick. They're not tall, but they're fast. You guys got on the break, had some fast break points, uh, extended your lead, really went on a 41-13 to 13 run at one point, or 41-8 to 8 run at one point. What, what do you, how do you attribute? What, what's going on? How do you get them to run like, run like that? Uh, I, just, I think I had to get on them today. We off to a slow start. But um, they realize that they are quick, that they are a good team, and that's what they do well. And then they, ju they just finally started to do it, and it worked out well for us. All right, well, I'll tell you, one of the things that we also saw is how you guys got to the basket. Uh, didn't take a lot of jump shots, uh, really just trying to get in, draw fouls, and uh, a lot of second and third shots. Well, that's, that's what we like to do. Um, I know we played Hagerstown in our second game. That was our main goal, to draw the fouls, to get the penetration. We, we like to shoot jump shots, so we got to the basket a lot more today than we have in the past. So that's why we got to the basket. We didn't shoot a lot of jump shots. But that's what we want. 
Excellent. Uh, and the, uh, we talked about before the game started, communication on the floor. You guys seem to be able to gel a little bit. Still had some errors in terms of turnovers and traveling calls. What's the main thing you want to take out to, to work on after this game? Uh, we still got to improve our defense. I told them at the beginning of the season the defense is going to be the key to our wins. And we still, our defense wasn't bad, as you can tell by their total points, but the execution wasn't the best. And that's what we're going to work on starting tomorrow and every day in practice. And Coach, what do you think it was? That, uh, was it something you said at the second half or just the team wanting to you know, get over that hump and just knock them out at the beginning of the second half? I mean, you know, starting off with all those three-pointers and then the steals and everything else, I mean, it w what did you say to the team at halftime? I just reemphasized after that first time out that we can run, we can get to the glass, and just to do what we do well. Don't be nervous, first time a home game, everybody's family's here, and just to be relaxed and just play hard. And they began to do it. Well, it seemed to work, Coach. I mean, you know, you had, you had a great you know, output by you know, all, almost all your starters, and you actually got Datcher into the game, who just knew with the team and everything else. Um, you seem to be having a great time, you know, having people gel and everything else. I mean, you know, overall, just a great win, Coach. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Not a problem. What we're going to do right now is we're going to wrap up our game. We appreciate you watching here on Hawks TV. Uh, we've been live here from the Nest for you. Uh, this is going to be replayed a bunch of times over on CSM TV on Channel 98. You're free to watch whenever you want. And, uh, by the way, the fan mail can be addressed to Sean Cook, Josh Harris, and Coach Hoyt. Thanks and have a good night, folks. You've been watching us on CSM Hawks TV Channel 98. You're watching CSM-TV, the College of Southern Maryland, and the home of the Hawks.